Hey, it's Raleigh from Kamui, and I am your average pool player. This is a video series where I take shots that professionals do on the first try in major tournaments, and I see how many tries it takes me to complete them, and also what I learn along the way, and I try to reason out what I'm doing wrong. This shot is from the finals of the 2011 World Mixed Doubles Championship, and the shooter is Jeanette Lee. While serious pool fans can name 30 different players, a random person on the street will probably know exactly one. The Black Widow herself, Jeanette Lee. Jeanette Lee! Black Widow! Billiards legend Jeanette Lee. Jeanette Lee is a world champion pool player, and she goes by the name the Black Widow. A little history Jeanette started playing at age 18, turned pro at 21, and after just two years, Jeanette had carved her way through the ranks to become women's world number one. And Jeanette Lee, the Black Widow, rewarded first on the board. She took down dozens of championships, made regular appearances on ESPN, and between her skills on the table and her charming and magnetic personality, she brought more attention to professional pool than anyone has in recent memory. Flash forward to 2011, and Jeanette Lee is in the World Mixed Doubles Finals, partnered with American pool icon Johnny Archer. Unfortunately, they're playing against a veritable kill squad from the Philippines, including the greatest player in history, Efren Reyes. <laughs> and two-time women's world champion Rubilen Amit. Rubilen Amit, she won it all. World eight ball, world 10 ball. Jeanette Lee and Johnny Archer were down five games to three in a race to 10 when they got an opportunity to take a game back. Johnny Archer puts just a little bit too much mustard on the ball and accidentally leaves Jeanette right behind the seven with no shot at the red three. Jeanette has to make contact with the three ball on her shot or else she hands a free shot to Efren Reyes. So she takes a few seconds to plan out her path and drops this little number. Okay, one more time. Cue ball into the rail, threading the needle directly into the three, which banks off the opposite rail into the point of the center pocket and runs along the long rail into the corner. What? are the odds. Now it should be noted that Jeanette was actually trying to bank the three directly into the side pocket here, but she hit the three so firmly that it tightened the angle and went into the point, sending it straight down the rail and into the corner. If you feel like you've seen a shot similar to this before, you're right. A few years before this tournament, Jeanette's opponent Efren Reyes hit a similar point shot in competition on purpose, so I thought it felt a little extra spicy for Jeanette to catch a break like that against Efren. Let's give it a shot. Okay, shot one was no good. I kind of stab at the cue ball and hit the seven ball straight back at myself and had to abandon ship before I got hit. Shot two, I clipped the seven again, but I got a piece of the three ball, which is technically progress. Shot three actually looks pretty good. So I figure I just need to hit the cue ball into the rail a tiny bit more to the left and a little harder. Shot four, I hit it much harder, but it turns out the harder you hit a ball into the rail, the more the rebounding angle tightens up. Then this one looks pretty good, except the three ball goes a little too far past the side pocket again. Then I had an idea. Maybe I need to hit the three ball harder so it can narrow its own rebounding angle and that'll bend it straight into the side. So I hit shot six harder and, oh right, the harder I hit the cue ball, the more the cue ball bends back into the seven ball because of course it did. That's exactly what I learned two shots ago. Shot seven, I take a tiny bit of speed off and the cue ball hits too far in the other direction. Here are the shots overlaid on each other and even though the cue ball hits the same exact spot on the rail, the slight change in speed caused me to over and under hit the shot, which makes the fact that Jeanette made a clean contact on the three on her first attempt pretty, you know, impressive. Shot eight, I'm hitting the three ball again, but it doesn't really go in the right direction. Same with shot nine. But shot 10 is a hot looking shot. And besides the fact that it didn't do the thing where it goes into the point and all that, I felt like I was almost there. But he wasn't. Shot 11, I hit the wrong side and I will take it. I mean, that ain't the right pocket, but I'm just happy to be nominated. Shot 12 gets a little weird. Between a little spin transfer from the cue ball and a pretty direct hit on the rail, the three ball changes directions and comes back through the five and the seven, finishing on the other side of this diamond. It actually reminded me a lot of the Jason Shaw triple bank shot, which was also a cool shot, but now I'm getting distracted, so back to the thing. Lucky number 13 gets a piece of the three ball, but it comes up short and almost flukes into the other side pocket. Shot 14 is the exact same, except for the cue ball felt disrespected and wanted to show the three ball who's in charge. Shot 15, I've got my aim point right and the right amount of speed and whammo, that is what I'm talking about. 15 tries to do what Jeanette Lee was intending to do. 
You are, you are the best. You are the best. And in other circumstances, I might just stop here, but this is different. Jeanette Lee has recently been diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. Now, Jeanette is no stranger to health problems. When she was 12 years old, she was diagnosed with severe scoliosis and a corrective surgery left her unable to bend her spine. They implanted two metal rods in my spine. They fused it all together. So if you notice, I cannot I can't bend at all. And despite excruciating pain, several surgeries, and the inability to properly bend her back, she became a world champion pool player. Unfortunately, tragedy struck again on February 17th, 2021. While Jeanette's doctors think this cancer may be fatal, Jeanette has resolved to fight back and recover. A Jeanette Lee Legacy Fund has been created on GoFundMe, and I encourage anyone who's able to donate. There's a link in the description, and donating is a great way to show Jeanette just how much she has meant to the pool world. If anyone can battle back to overcome this kind of cancer, it's Jeanette. And donating can help give her the tools to do it. With that in mind, let's recreate this corner point shot. Shot 16, okay, that was not good. But now that I know the exact part of the rail to hit, I'm mostly working with speed and accuracy. 18, I shot too slow and the cue ball banked too wide. 19 is, is, oh, okay. It, it looked really close, but if we look back at the Jeanette Lee shot, she's kind of rocketing that cue ball. Now my shot looked like it was pretty close, but in reality, I also have to match the contact point on the rail with the right speed. So even though 19 looked kind of right, it was both the wrong speed and therefore the wrong point on the rail. So I tried to correct on shot 20 and I'm missing the other way again. And this is frustrating. Shot 21, I overcut the three. 22, I do the same thing, but worse. Shot 23, I just skip all this banking malarkey and cut the three ball straight into the corner. Shots 24 and 25, I overcut the three and get the exact same result. So at least I'm consistent. Here they are overlaid on each other. And back by popular demand, here they are in the 1920s. Shot 26 and I'm back to making the three ball straight in. But at least I'm making the three ball more consistently than I normally make balls I'm shooting directly at. 27, the three ball caroms off the five, but goes in anyway. I mean, I didn't learn anything from that, but it was kind of cool, I guess. 28, I almost make the good old kick triple bank shot everyone is always making all the time, but again, I didn't hit it hard enough. 29, I blew it. Shot 30, I make it again, but at this point I'm kind of mad at making it. These balls must be so confused. They're like, dude, what do you want from us? Shot 31, I start increasing power again and I hit the three ball too far to the right. Shot 32 actually looks pretty good. It's got the speed to make it if I can just send it right into that corner. Same with shot 33, and I'm actually getting a little closer to the mark. 34 makes it again, damn it. 35, okay, that one was my fault. I mean, they're all my fault, but that one I didn't get a clean stroke and the cue ball hit the rail in the air, sending the cue ball bouncing into the five ball. 36, I take some of the power off, but still have some of that control that I need, so I'm trending in the right direction. 37, I hit it too hard and the speed tightens the rebound angle, but it's hard enough that I send the three into the five into the 10, which would be an instant win if I had called it, but I didn't, so here we are. 38 is no good, but 39 is looking pretty strong. I mean, I hate the fact that it went in, but it's really flirting with that side pocket and so I can be pretty hopeful. Scratch that, shot 40 is garbage. Shot 41 is garbage, which is like garbage, but a little different because the five went in. Same with shot 42. And shot 43, I'm starting to wonder whether I'm ever gonna get this one. Let's check out that Jeanette Lee shot once again for inspiration and let's listen to the wise words of Johnny Arch. You are, you are the best, you are the best. Okay, here we go. No, okay, wait, 10 ball down and a shot on the three. All right, I guess that's sort of what he was saying. Shot 45, nothing. 46, oh, cue ball, why you gotta do me like that? 47, come on, dude. 48, not, not good, but better. 49, okay, 10 ball down, seven ball down. Ugh, I can't stay mad at you guys, let's play this one out. Spin move, bank shot, blow it. Okay, perfect setup for shot 50. Everything is looking bad, really bad. 51, okay, not the right corner pocket, but that's kind of the idea. 52, maybe the weirdest shot so far. The three ball caroms off the five into the rail with some kind of spin, caroms off the six and goes into the side. 
It's not what I wanted, but what can I say? I like a scrappy shot now and again. I don't want to talk about 53. 54 doesn't have enough juice, so it banks too wide. 55 is on the right track, except the cue ball has some kind of separation anxiety and ruins it. 56, getting warmer. 57, getting colder. 58, cold. Colder, wait, warmer. Warmer, magma hot, that's the stuff, baby. That's the weird stuff. And if anyone is trying to do recreation shots of recreation shots, I think the old kick bank, time shot, carom, double bank is gonna be a huge waste of your time. Please don't do it. Shot 59, too hard. Shot 60, too soft. 61, right speed with bad aim, but the nine ball goes down, so, you know, that's something. 62, too soft again. I gotta remember to really crank that ball. 63, I really try to crank it and, okay, bad shot, but that's the right speed. So for 64, I just have to adjust a tiny hair down the rail and really blast it and got it. Oh, oh man, okay, 64 shots. Wow, okay, let's see those together. Oh my God. You are, you are the best. Okay, wow. 15 attempts to make the side pocket shot Jeanette was aiming at, and a full 64 tries to get the same Jeanette Lee corner point shot. I really appreciate you sticking around to watch. If you enjoyed this shot and you have a little bit to spare to help Jeanette Lee's surgery and her kids, I encourage you to follow that link in the description to the Jeanette Lee Legacy GoFundMe page. If you don't have any spare cash but you want to help, consider sharing this video on social media so more people might have the chance to hear Jeanette's story. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks to Jeanette Lee for continuing to be an inspiration to pool players everywhere. We love you, Jeanette, and we're all rooting for you.